This is a video showing the channel setting setup process with the NR, specifically using the NRX100W in normal mode. This video assumes that initial connection has already been established. For assistance on this initial connection process, see the NRX initial connection in the NR series support playlist. To confirm our connection, we can click the connection check button looking for a display like this. The first step for setting the acquisition settings is to create a new data file for the unit you are connected to. You might have a blank window if you just open the software. If not, click on the folder icon, hover over Create New, and select Normal Mode for the NRX100 data file. Once the file has been created, click the Acquisition Settings button in the Home tab. A window showing the unit configuration will appear with the connected measurement units. If you do not see this window, click the Unit Recognition button. Click Yes. If you receive an error message with connection failed, then you might not be properly connected. Return to the initial connection video for the NRX100W. Channel settings is the first page to appear. Your connected units will fill in the slots in the order that they are connected. You will see a list of tabs on the left hand side that distinguish the different measurement unit locations. Here you will see the overall configuration in all. For a quick example, an NRX with a remote unit would look like this. The temperature measurement unit is connected to the NRX100 main unit. An analog measurement unit is connected to the remote unit. You can see the overall layout represented in the All tab. If the module doesn't look like the unit you have connected, you can click the blue arrows to switch between the alternate displayed styles. To assign an input channel, simply click on measurement unit and select the desired channel or channels from the channel list. As with other PC software, by shift clicking the two channels, both can be selected and their input settings can be set simultaneously. In this example, there are two K-type thermocouples connected to input channels 1 and 2. You can see additional channel settings alongside the channel input. Unit common settings like averaging and filters can be applied in the additional tabs in this area. Additional channel detail settings can be found here. In this window, you will find the location to name channels. For this example, channel 1 will be named temp1. Channel 2 will be named temp2. This is also where you can change the number of displayed decimal digits. Smooth the displayed waveform and scale inputs with two-point scaling. Once channel setting is complete, you can click the Next button and adjust your acquisition condition settings. For now, you can confirm that the channels are set up properly by clicking the Finish button on the bottom. Then click the green Start button at the top of the screen. You will see a live waveform with the channel signals we have set. You will also see the changes we made in the channel detail settings like the number of displayed digits and channel names. This is the end of the channel settings. The next video will show the acquisition condition settings for the NRX.